Sacramento, yeah. through Portland. Yeah. I was a Lakers fan through Boston. Yeah. How you gonna say you're a Boston Celtics fan in the 80s and then say you're a Lakers fan in the 2000s? Come on, man. Pick one up, man. Is it magic or is it curse? What is the best NBA team in the following decades, 80s, 90s, and 2000s, in your opinion? Okay, my opinion for that, the 80s, I'm going to have to go 1985, 1986, Boston Celtics. We're talking about a team with Larry Bird, you know what I mean? You got Robert Parrish, you got, uh, what's his name, Kevin McHale, disrespectful. What they do, they go 40-1 and one at home, 30 and 37-1 and one at the Hartford Civic Center and also the Boston Garden. And then what they do in the playoffs, they had the rematch against the 1981 Rockets in the finals and they won four games to two. That was a good one. 1990s, I'm going to go with 1996. You already know the legend, Michael Jordan. Yeah, I mean, Rodman, Pippen, Hartberg, cool coach, Phil Jackson, Steve Kerr, the whole, the whole squad, you know, 72 and 10. Very impressive during the season. And on the real, that was a great series because they got to see the legend, Gary, Gary Payton, July 23rd. 96. You know what I mean? The glove. Yeah, 1996. That's a fact, you know what I mean? They got to see the glove. 4-2 in that series, that's good. And then we're going to go to, for me, 2000. My man, is, my man is wearing the shirt. You feel me? The Lakers. 2001 Lakers. Because what they do? What they do to the Lakers, man? The Lakers, first of all, they went in the playoffs and dominated 15 straight wins. And then we lost to that game right there. Alan Iverson yeah, stepping over Tyron Lue. And that was it. You know what I mean? So those, for me, are my three best teams of each era. Yeah, let's get it. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely co sign your picks. Um, personally, I prefer the Lakers of the 80s to me, man. I was a Magic fan. Which so. year? What you mean? Because we're going to talk about the team. You can't just say the Lakers. Okay, I'm really going to know what it is. If you want 80s basketball, yo, you know for a fact that Magic Johnson, Lakers. Because they didn't win every year. Their 80s. I know that for a fact. But the question is, which team was it? Era. 80s era. Me, I'm telling you, the Lakers was my 80s team. What then when I go to the 90s, I go to the Bulls. Because the Bulls <laughs> won six. And I know for a fact you said the 2000 teams. You name my team because I know you're not a Lakers fan, but I know you did this for the question. So, once again, I'm going to say Lakers, but because me, R.I.P. 24, number 8, R.I.P. Little Baby 2, I'm a real Lakers fan. A real Lakers fan. I was a Lakers fan through Sacramento, through Portland. I was a Lakers fan through Boston. How you going to say you're a Boston Celtics fan in the 80s and then say you're a Lakers fan in the 2000s? Come on, man. Pick one up, man. Jordan, man, he's the one that taught me about the Colorado. What Lakers you know what team? I'm like, like, I'm telling you, I was a Lakers fan. Like when Magic was doing the, I was there like, oh my god, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like VP, you feel me? I know you're a real ball fan. Yo, I mean, feel me? Real, Talk to me, me, man. To be honest, to be honest, out of all of them, I'd have to just have a dynasty. Who's the best dynasty? Mm -hmm. And the best dynasty is gonna have to be, um, you know, I want to say Chicago, yeah. but. It's gonna have to be the Spurs because they're the one only team who won Spurs in the nineties. <laughs> they won the two thousand. Which, which Spurs? The which year? Because it's the two thousand. No, I'm just saying. Like, I'm talking about dynasty. I'm talking about dynasty. Dynasty. I'm talking about dynasty over like over a period of time. Best team. I'm talking dynasty. about that. that no, I'm talking. I'm talking about like. And, and I get you guys are talking about different points. You're talking about from a fan's perspective. Yeah, of course. You're talking about from like an actual team's mm -hmm. perspective, mm -hmm. and I'm saying from like just like a, an organization. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I think the Spurs yeah. Yeah. because what they could prove is that no matter what. Whether it's 2000s or it's the 2010s with Kawhi or it's with Tim and you know what I mean, and then the Admiral doesn't matter. Pop is able to make the team work. Do you know what I mean? What did they do in the 80s? Though I'm curious. No, I'm not talking about the 80s. I'm talking about 90s. Okay, okay. 2000s, 2010s. So instead of the 80s, I'm, I'm putting in 2010s. Okay, I hear you. So he switched the question a little bit. I hear you. 
But overall, I mean, you can't no, debate. You, know. you, you can't debate. You can't debate. You can't debate like. You can't debate which team you're right or wrong. It's who you prefer, right? But in the eras, me like like I said, my memories really come more out of the whole 2000s Lakers. Um, but overall, I, I definitely co-sign what he said as a pick. I definitely co-sign the Spurs as a, as a, as an organization. Definitely, they're a dynasty team. Uh, you know what? I appreciate the question, man. I appreciate the question, real time. That's good. Yeah, so just remember, it's the best '80s, the '90s, and the 2000s. So check everyone's answer, man. <laughs> what up? This your boy Raph coming in straight to you. Currency ENT, Currency TV. I just wanted to give a message out to subscribe to Currency TV on YouTube. Leave a comment as well. We love to interact. I'd love to interact with you people. See what you think about what we talk about. Give our points, you know. Be opinionated if you want. Speak up. It's great. So again, subscribe, comment, like, whichever video you want, you know. It's your boy Rav.